Okay, so I'm out here at Bandelier and uh, with my daughter and the rest of my family, which are in the car, just waiting to get out for some reason. We came here to explore the park. We've been here once before. It's a cool area to check out if you're going to be in the Los Alamos area or if you came here to New Mexico to check out the Trinity site. Uh, this is also another cool stop to do, especially if you want to learn about the history of the atomic bomb and all this other stuff. Los Alamos is a cool place to check out, along with Bandelier National Monument. Uh, if you like cliff dwellings and ancient history, it's a really cool place. I don't think there's going to be anything here that's radioactive. I do have my Radicode 101 running right now, tracking the radiation, but I'm not anticipating anything at this location. So this area is what remains of a village that was occupied around five to 700 years ago. It's pretty cool. It's awesome that it's still here. Are you ready, Scarlett? I don't know, is there enough room for me up there? I'm coming. Oh. Woo! Wow. Um, I want to go down. You want to go down? <laughs> so this is inside of one of the cliff dwellings. It's pretty cool. You can see sleeping up here, having a fire. Pretty nice. I'm going to get out of here so other people can come up.
Cheers, warming up today. It's pretty cold, but that's getting nice. So this is the long house. It's a pretty long dwelling, that's for sure. Well, that was a quick look at Bandelier National Monument. Uh, it's a cool place to check out if you're in the area, like after going to the Trinity site or going up to Los Alamos. They also have the Ray Bradbury Museum up there that's about nuclear power and nuclear weapons and stuff like that. And if you feel like supporting this channel, uh, check out my Patreon. That's always awesome. But hopefully you enjoyed this non-radioactive uh, video. Uh, hopefully this gives you some ideas of what to do if you're visiting the Trinity site. Uh, this place isn't too far away from there if you're staying in Santa Fe or um, Albuquerque. So I encourage you to check it out. It's a cool place to see if you're into history. But anyway, take it easy.